Good morning and welcome to Talk to the Experts here on 770 CHQR. I'm Betty Jo Kaiser. Joining us on this fine Saturday is the director of the Heart Fit Clinic, Diamond Fernandez. He's also author of Beating Heart Disease. Welcome, Diamond. Thank you very much. So nice to see you here. So today we want to answer this question. Could common cardiac testing be missing heart disease. We want some insight into the data and that's how we're going to spend our hour today. Correct? Absolutely. Yeah. Lots of things I can share and, and I can get very granular. So uh, excited to do that for sure. I love it. Uh, heartfit.ca is the website and I love this website, guys. There's tons of great information there and you're going to see, are we talking prevention? Are we talking treatment? Wicked great information. So if you don't have time to hear the whole hour, make sure you make your way to the website heartfit.ca or give them a call. Uh, They're actually working today. So let the phones ring 403-870-4348. That's 403-870-4348. Diamond, I feel like it's been a while since we've chatted and it's been such a crazy month like it's that time of year yeah. i mean we have celebrated a grad a grade six farewell birthdays weddings of course there was father's <laughs> day last weekend yeah and i was thinking about my dad and i know your dad is a big reason why you are in the business of heart health yeah um so my father had his first heart attack at 38 years old and at 42 he ended up with bypass surgery and now he's living well into his 70s following our advice that we focus on at the heart fit clinic and so uh, you know, when he had that, uh, another heart event, I remember having bypass surgery and he said, oh, okay, I got a, I got a clean heart. I'm everything's okay. And I was a young kid at the time. And, and, uh, and I was in school in my twenties and I'd finished school and, and my dad ended up having a heart attack. And I'm like, well, I thought you had clean arteries. I thought, you know, you got clean pipes and all this stuff. And, and he's like, well, my, that's what I was told. And, and so anyway, uh, that's what kind of geared my career into cardiac rehab and uh, so in 99, I worked with Total Cardiology and uh, been, there, been doing this ever since. Not at Total Cardiology, now with the HeartFit Clinic. That's right. So yeah. there's a HeartFit Clinic here in the city. There's another one in Edmonton. And besides an author and besides being the director of the HeartFit Clinic, you travel the world bringing your information, your research, your understanding about heart health yeah. to all four corners of the world. You are, <laughs> this guy's at cardiologist major events and conferences and it's because you have really come together with the with the the right mix of information treatment to help people beat heart disease. Yeah, and that's my focus, and that's my passion, and that's what I love to do, and that's what we do at the HeartFit Clinic. And you know, today I know we're going to talk a lot about the, the misleading things that might be happening in in cardiac testing, and I'm going to cover that so the listeners today will get a good understanding as to what's going on. And and if you miss it or or or, or not able to do it, I, I think what I'll like to do for our our listener, just because it's, uh, you know, we'll call it Father's Day month and whatnot, and, and, the, and the inspiration as to what got me involved with this is uh, we'll be giving a consultation to anyone who calls our clinic uh, today, and uh, the clinics are open today. So Okay, so that's yeah. 403-870-4348. If you've heard about the HeartFit Clinic, you're curious about it. I'm Betty Jo Kaiser, and Diamond Fernandez is joining us for another edition of Talk to the Experts. Okay, let's talk about the common cardiac testing that people would normally get mm-hmm. kind of your average run of the mill great great family doctor is going to do what yeah so at your cardiologist level there's different things that they can do and your family doctor's level there's different things that they can do and so at the family physician level where you know you've got to see where your risk is of a heart attack or stroke they'll plug you into a formula and the formula is a little bit archaic in my opinion um, you know, they can check for cholesterol, uh, important things like diabetes and hypertension. But when we plug all this into a formula, it gives you a risk as to where you're, you know, you're having a heart attack. And it's really not a good toolbox to see where the risk is of a heart attack or stroke in the next five years. Um, and so, you know, even if you look at cholesterol, the majority of people that are in the hospital that have coronary artery disease or artery disease for that matter, we'll consider a cardiovascular disease in total, they actually have normal cholesterol profiles. So it goes well beyond that part of it. And so how we differ than your family doctor, especially on that level, is we just go and do a deeper dive into that, that cholesterol. And so for the listeners out there to understand cholesterol, and I've talked about this many times, is, and I'll say it a thousand times and a thousand times more, is that your arteries are a muscle, they're not a pipe. 
And so we got to stop thinking of it like a plumbing problem or a plumbing system. Cholesterol does not accumulate to the arterial walls like, you know, crud does to the, you know, the, the kitchen sink pipes do. It doesn't happen that way. And so what happens is you have an inner layer of skin inside your artery and different layers to that artery inside the lining of the arterial wall. So the middle is where the blood flows, but inside of that layer is all skin. And that skin is called the endothelial lining. Inside of that lining is where the drama happens. And cholesterol, you know, whether you're for guns or against guns is not the point here. The point is, is that we know that guns is not what kills people. It's guns being used in a negative way is what kills people. Just, I like to use that same analogy with cholesterol. I was at a conference and I came up with this analogy when I was uh, speaking there. So, um, so it, cholesterol does not cause heart disease, you know, so dietary cholesterol, all that part of it, there's, of course, there's proper things to eat. And that's another talk I can give and you can come to the clinic and I can go over that with you. But the idea is to understand that your arteries are a muscle. And when you look at cholesterol, it doesn't accumulate to the arterial wall. So imagine the arteries protected by a tennis net-like structure. You have different size particles that are very important to understand, or what we call atherogenic or plaque-causing particles. And there are different types of particles that way. But the big thing to understand is that what we do at the HeartFit Clinic is measure the particle sizes. So you got the small ones and the large ones. And so imagine the arteries protected by that tennis net-like structure you've got golf balls that will go through a tennis net and cause problems. Those are atherogenic particles where larger tennis balls particles will not go through that tennis net. And so at the Hartford Clinic, what we do is we, we bridge that important gap between your family doctor and us. And a lot of family doctors refer to our clinic to, so they can understand, hey, I want to know more about my patient to understand where their cardiovascular disease risk is. So that's one of them. Now, a common test that your doctor, and some general practitioners can do this, but usually it gets referred off to cardiologists, is an electrocardiogram or an EKG or ECG. And in my opinion, that's a, a waste of time of a test to get done because at a doctor's level, they can listen in on the heart to see or, uh, or abnormal arrhythmias or anything like that. So in my opinion, it's not a very good test to see anything to do with your heart. And yeah, we can catch atrial fibrillation and we can catch those things. And if you have that, that's stuff I can talk to you individually about uh, as to what we do to help with that part of it. But the idea is, is that getting an electrocardiogram at your, whether you get it done at your family doctor's office or cardiologist's office is just a waste of time. It's a six second snapshot of your heart that doesn't really tell us anything. So where I think it is a little bit more valuable is if we're able to watch your ECG over 24 hours or do an exercise stress test, okay? So that's the, the next thing. And that's usually done at a cardiologist level. And, and that cardiac testing is the stress test. Now, um, you know, I have a big background in exercise and cardiac rehab and all that part of it. And I'm a big fan of, of understanding this, but I, I, I just don't feel that we're using it correctly here in our healthcare system. And, and, the, and the problem is it, on a few levels, right? is that, so how this all came about is uh, Dr. Robert Bruce in the 1960s. Uh, he's actually the founder of exercise cardiology, I would say. And uh, he's an American cardiologist. And, and so what happened was, is he came up with this Bruce protocol, which is the exercise stress test. And he found out that, okay, if we exercise people and we can see if they have an artery narrowing problem, we're going to start to see this on an electrocardiogram. So it's a little bit more of a valuable information to look at the ECG while you're exercising. It is more valuable for a few reasons. Number one, we can see if there are any abnormal rhythms that are happening while you're exercising. And number two is if you are ischemic or a lack of blood flow while you're exercising. What I do not like from the exercise treadmill test is the two things in terms of the results or management of the exercise stress test. And this is where I, I think, um, you know, we don't get a good grading system in our healthcare system. So uh, there are two scenarios as to when someone should get an exercise stress test. And, you know, if you have chest pain that is, you know, not been diagnosed and you seem to be getting it and it's making you uncomfortable, then I want you to proceed to the emergency room because that's where we have some of the best cardiologists in the city uh, to deal with that emergency situations. Now, the concern is, is that let's say you take 10 people that go to the emergency room and you end up with a problem 
The difference that the HeartFit Clinic focuses on is, is, uh, is looking for subclinical disease or before it starts to become established disease. So when you're going to the emergency room with chest pain or angina, angina could be shoulder pain or indigestion type of feeling or just not feeling yourself that's in an emergency situation, that's what the emergencies are for. They're really good at that part of it. At that point, they'll do an ECG. And at that point, that ECG is valuable because we're looking for a change in the ECG to see if you're actually having a heart attack. And that's a, a really big, uh, important test to get done when you're in the emergency room with chest pain or angina. It's not a valuable test to get done on a preventative basis. So I'm going to cover a little bit more here in a bit. But you know, the big thing I want to share with, with people is understand there is more that you can do to understand where your risk is of a heart attack or stroke. And that's what the HeartFit Clinic focuses on. So I'll, yeah, I'll get into that a little bit more here. Okay, we yeah. will be back. We uh, do need to take a break. It's heartfit.ca. This is Talk to the Experts. I'm Betty Jo Kaiser with Diamond Fernandez from the HeartFit Clinic. I'm Betty Jo Kaiser. Joining us this hour is Diamond Fernandez. He is the director of the HeartFit Clinic. He's also the author of Beating Heart Disease. He travels the world talking about heart health. Definitely an expert, and we're so lucky to have him in our city. Check out the website, heartfit.ca. So the big question can common cardiac testing be missing heart disease? And in the first part of the hour, we talked about what are those common tests. Tell me, tell us, how does the HeartFit Clinic differ from the testing you get at your regular doctor or your cardiologist? So we talked about how cholesterol is, you know, the majority of people that end up in the hospital with cardiovascular disease actually have normal cholesterol profiles. Um, you know, the latest data on that, I think it was, uh, anyway, it was a ridiculous amount of people, but 83% of them had normal LDL cholesterol profiles that would wow. not have been treated. So that's, that's really high. And so it goes beyond cholesterol is really what I want to try and say with that. And then getting electrocardiograms, like I said, on a preventative level is kind of a waste of time in my opinion. And uh, even when we talk about stress tests, uh, stress tests, the problem with our stress tests that get done at a cardiologist level is only looking for advanced stages of disease. What I mean by that, if we think of the artery as a pipe, we know it's not a pipe, it's a muscle, but if we think about it, a pipe, it's got to be about 90% clogged, 80% or more clogged before it starts to show up uh, on that stress test. And so, uh, you know, the majority of heart attacks and strokes actually occur with blockages that are way less than that. Um, you know, 50% of heart attacks sorry, 68% of heart attacks occur with blockages that are less than 50%. Wow. Right. That so is stunning. Yeah. And so that data really even surprised me even when I got into this field and I started like, well, how is this happening? Well, it's the plaque rupture. It's the plaque rupture. And that's how the heart fit clinic differs than going to see your regular cardiologist. The cardiologists are great, but they're only looking for advanced stages of disease. Right? We've already determined, um, you know, the last uh, the beginning of the hour is how we talked about when, that, when, when you're having chest pain, go to the emergency room because that's where cardiologists excel. They, they can do their jobs very well at that point if it's, if it's coronary artery disease. Now, if it's not and you're going to a cardiologist on a preventative level, now they're only looking for advanced stages of disease. And so we talked about that stress test and I'll come back to it, but the majority of heart attacks and strokes occur are blockages that are less than 50%. And so the HeartFit Clinic looks at the artery like a muscle, not a pipe. And so when we look at the musculature side of things, there are infinite number of markers. And so what I want our listeners to do, and you know, maybe not do it while you're driving, but even just understand the analogy is that if you take your th finger and your thumb together and you make that A-OK -okay sign, that makes a circle, of course, right? Mm -hmm. And so inside, when we put our index th finger and our thumb together, that's what the inside of your artery looks like. It's all skin. Right, it, it, it's 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 a live organism, right? It's flexible, it, it's movable. Yeah, yeah. it's more like a garden hose than it is a kitchen pipe. Exactly, and <laughs> so there are infinite number of markers that can affect, right? That can hurt the skin, right? Just like the outside of our skin, you know, no different. Um, it's no different that way. So there are infinite number of markers that can hurt the arterial wall of the artery. And then that can spur on the process of atherosclerosis or plaque building up inside our arteries. What the HeartFit Clinic does is look at that as a subclinical level, meaning before it starts to manifest itself as a heart attack. And so we're, we're, our big focus is on prevention as well. 
But if you do have established disease, and I'll get into that a little bit later, is that we focus on preventing and reversing disease processes. And so the HeartFit Clinic, if you do have established disease, this is, we got some really great treatment options to reverse that disease process. And that's what we do at the HeartFit Clinic. The HeartFit Clinic, you can find more information at their website, heartfit.ca. Give them a call at 403-870-4348. And if you call today, you actually can get a free assessment. That's Diamond's gift in honor of Father's Day, the month of June. That's 403-870-4348. Joining us this hour is Diamond Fernandez. He's the director of the HeartFit Clinic. He's also the author of Beating Heart Disease, travels the world talking about heart health because you really are the expert. That's fun for me. So. <laughs> <laughs> He's always got this gigantic, great smile. I'm Betty Jo Kaiser. Um, so, Diamond, tell us a little bit about the treatments. Like mm-hmm. one of the things that I know uh, people that have heard the show in the past, they've asked me about is the ECP. Yeah, the external counterpositive. It's part of our treatment option to help people who do have established disease. So if you are in heart failure, um, excellent treatment. If you do have heart disease, so so I, I want to take a step back from that just okay. to have people understand that if you have heart disease, it likes to progress. So how you know you have heart disease? Well, you've had a heart stent or a bypass surgery or a heart attack or you're on you know medications to, to treat artery disease. Now, if you have this problem with artery disease and it's stable, our goal is to make sure it doesn't become unstable, right? And so stents and bypass surgeries are very important in an emergency process, right? Mm-hmm. When you're in the hospital, you're having that chest pain or heart attack, that's important to get that procedure. Now, if you're not in an emergency procedure and you're down the route, now the literature is showing that may not be the best treatment option. And the reason why is because your arteries are a muscle, not a pipe. And if you start to give medical therapy and we start to focus on lifestyle changes, which is what we do at the HeartFit Clinic, our big focus is, is to make sure that people are exercising safely and effectively, making sure that they're on the right nutrition, uh, taking the right different nutrition program that's specific to them, right? Because not everyone has heart disease for the same reason, right? You get a 95-year-old uh, you know, that has a heart attack and you can have a 40-year-old with a heart attack. It doesn't, like there's no, and, and they both have it for different reasons, right? And so- uh, you know, our big focus is, is to look at nutrition and supplements, th- things that are, might be, and good quality stuff, not stuff that uh, I'm not going to disrespect anyone out there that sells about it, but good quality stuff to understand where your deficiencies are. And then we replenish them uh, with, with our stuff that we do at the HeartFit Clinic. And then external counterpulsation therapy might be a great treatment option for you as well. And so if you're having angina or chest pain that has been ongoing and you're seeing your doctor about this and you have established disease and you know, they say, well, maybe we should do another angiogram. Before that happens, you know, the HeartFit Clinic might want to try focusing on doing external counterpulsation therapy. And we've had some really good success with patients improving heart function, improving artery function, improving a whole bunch of things to help people improve their heart health. And how external counterpulsation works is where we basically pump blood back up to the heart while the heart's at rest and it pushes blood back up to the heart. And, and it does it but three big things that happen when we do that. It grows new arteries, it improves artery function, and it improves heart function. So that's one of the treatments that we focus on at the HeartFit Clinic. And that would be, you know, if someone, when we could use that treatment and when I'm a big fan of using this treatment, and this is what I, I wish we would go to, but I can understand why, you know, we don't always push it this way. But if you have that stress test and it is positive, what I don't like from the stress tests that are done um, we'll just say North America in general, is that there's two outcomes. Either, hey, it's good, or hey, it's bad. We need to do more testing. And I'm going to talk about both those scenarios. If it's good, it just means that you're not having established, there's no disease that's showing 80% or more. Now, you can have a 70% blockage or 60% blockage, and you can pass with flying colors. So it doesn't look for the risk of a heart attack. It has, it's got, it, it's got very low specificity, very low... I don't want to get too technical here, but very low accuracy to seeing where risk is of a heart attack. It's actually a really poor predictor, a test for a predictor of that. But what it is good for is to see if you have advanced stages of disease, okay. right? So I don't like it, I don't like it when a, a doctor says, oh, your arteries are fine, you know, keep doing what you're doing. That's not really that what should be said, in, in, in my opinion. That's where the HeartFit Clinic bridges that important gap in our healthcare system. I got some great videos on the HeartFit Clinic website there. And so- 
Okay, yeah. so and we're gonna we're gonna hear more <laughs> about that that gap that you bridge and, yeah. and just how deep you dive into those tests. We are needing to take another break though. This is Talk to the Experts on 770 CHQR. I'm Betty Jo Kaiser. Diamond Fernandez is our guest. He is the director of the HeartFit Clinic. You can check out that website and those videos at heartfit.ca. Today we're talking about this question. Could common cardiac testing be missing heart disease? The answer we've discovered so far is yes, yes, it could. And we know that because what they do at the HeartFit Clinic under Diamond's direction is get way more insight. Mm -hmm. You are able to really dig down. And in the last segment, we talked about uh, the stress tests. Mm -hmm. What happens if you fail that stress test? So... So when you test, um, sometimes it can lead to more testing, right? And so there's something called false positive tests, meaning that you get a positive test when, you know, you fail the test. So the key, in my opinion, you fail the stress test for two reasons. Number one, uh, if you have uh, chest pain or, or pain from doing the test, so when you're exercising on the treadmill, and we can see that. And then number two is if you have ECG changes as well. So if the two of those things are combined, then it might be, and even then I'm not, uh, I'm not sold on this, but it might be worthwhile to take the next step. But at that point, you know, you already know, right? I mean, we've done enough stress tests. If, if you've done enough stress tests, you get the idea, okay, this person's got heart problems, right? Or right. is ischemic. In my opinion, there's no reason to go any further. And, and so what I mean by that is that if this person looks like they have coronary artery disease and is showing that, then I think it's best to start treating them as if they do and start to focus on lifestyle changes and making sure that that patient is on optical medical therapy. Okay. So there's a trial that, that came out uh, 10 years ago, the courage trial. And there are many, been many subsequent trials from that, that shows that medical therapy is better than trying to open up arteries like a plumbing problem. Right. right? And so the, the problem is, is that sometimes we do uh, another level of testing, which is about 500 chest x-rays or radioactive dye that goes inside of you. And I don't necessarily agree with that test all the time, although it's very valuable information that's clean. And it's a time and place when yeah, that should be done. Yeah, there is a certain time yeah. and place, but especially if, yeah, if you're, if you're calling say, 911. Yeah, that, that's different. So, Betty Jo, if you're, having a, if you're having a heart attack for those listeners that are having chest pain or, you know, and it's bad, go to the emergency. That's, yes. <laughs> you know, we've got great places there. But if we're in investigative phase, right? Yes. We're like, okay, let's see what's going on. What's or, my like, risk? What's my risk? Right. I don't necessarily agree with going that route. Mm -hmm. And so at that point, the HeartFit Clinic would bridge that important gap as well. And so what I mean by that is that the next level tests a lot of radiation. And then the next step from that is actually doing an angiogram, where, which is what's done in the emergency room, where you go inside the uh, arteries of the wrist or the groin, but mostly the wrist now, and they come to the heart and they flush the arteries and they can see where the blockages are, where the plumbing problem is. And it's quite an invasive task to get done to the arteries. And so that should be reserved for the high risk patient. Mm -hmm. The high risk patient is someone who has chest pain that they, they're not able to deal with, or they're actually having a heart attack. Okay. For the person who has that chest pain and, and you know, happens once in a while and they go down that right, I don't necessarily agree with that because now the literature is showing that if we do a, a intervention, which is a stent or bypass, or we don't, you know, the risk is the same as if we start to treat him. And so this is where the HeartFit Clinic can bridge that important gap. And what we do is we, we would focus on external counterpulsation therapy, but also strong on, on nutrition and supplements and exercise and making sure that patient's on optical medical therapy because you're going to get better outcomes versus going in and trying to open it up like acting like a plumber, right? right? And so... Remember, your arteries are not a, a pipe, they're a muscle. And it's alive, like inside of the arteries, they're live and a whole bunch of drama happens inside of that artery wall, which I can go through, um, you know, when we do a consultation at the HeartFit Clinic. But that's, yeah. And on that note, if you call today, you can get a free consultation. It's 403-870-4348. I'm Betty Jo Kaiser. Joining us this hour is Diamond Fernandez. He's the director of the HeartFit Clinic here in Calgary. Their website is heartfit.ca. Also author of the book, Beating Heart Disease, which is available on Amazon. And you've traveled all over the world. This is your passion mm -hmm. and you love sharing your insights, your knowledge, 
the research you've done, and and sharing heart health with with others. One of the things that fascinates me about the offering at the HeartFit Clinic is the types of testing. So you book your consultation, you decide, I want the full assessment. Mm-hmm. Uh, tell us, I, I, like I, I think you do a test that does, determines the age of your arteries. Yeah. Like you do some really neat yeah. stuff. So I think the big thing that we want to understand, especially on a preventative level, is, is to find out where people's risk are of a heart attack or stroke and then reverse it. <laughs> And right. that's, that's the big key is that we want to uh, take people and, and, and show them what to do to reverse that process. And what I love about this job is that, uh, is that when we assess people and they are at risk and then they follow our recommendations and they do a reassessment, we're, we're, we're substantially rever- – we're healing the artery now, right? That's and so cool. that, that's the fun part of what we do at the HeartFit Clinic. And tell us what it's – what that it looks like. I know that people that come first day, they can barely make it up the stairs. Mm-hmm. They're huffing and puffing. Yeah. But after they have followed what you have, have guided them to do, you've, they've done some treatments yeah. and, and they reverse that heart disease. What does that look like? You know, so w- when you're able to give more to people and so that's a, you know, a lot of people are, there are just people that are not able to do much. Right. And so, you know, they have problems climbing a flight of stairs. And so, they get winded when that happens. And so what the HeartFit Clinic does is we focus on some great treatment options. And and with the external counterpulsation therapy that we're able to do with people that are higher risk, you know, that's a good thing to be able to help people grow new vessels and improve the heart function and artery function. You know, for the preventative person, so we see we see three levels of people, I'd say. So the first person is, hey, I have a family history just like Diamond does, and I want to know where my risk is of a heart attack or stroke. Great. That's someone who is now being proactive. And and we've talked about the cardiac testing in Calgary. Well, is not great at catching those people just on a, hey, I want to know where my risk is. Because we talked about the stress test being, you know, you have to have advanced stages of disease and it only manifests itself when you unfortunately have a heart attack or it it progresses to a level where there is a problem. And so we talked about the stress test missing that population. The second population of people now are, are taking a pill for a problem. They, they have high cholesterol, they have diabetes, they have high blood, uh, pressure. You know, high blood pressure. And so now they have something and now they want to know where their risk is. And again, the cardiac testing that's involved with it here is that where we get coming back to the stress test. It's not a great tool to see where your risk is of a heart attack or stroke. And so the HeartFit Clinic bridges that important gap. And so what we do is we try and find out, well, why do you have high blood pressure or why do you have diabetes or why do you have this high cholesterol? And so to me, it's all about the why and then getting into that and then understanding and and empowering people to understand what's going on to the arteries themselves. So again, arteries are a muscle, not a pipe. And what we focus on is reversing that, that, that plaque buildup or what's been happening there. We can reverse that process by focusing on uh, on our on our treatment options, whatever it might be, but we individualize that to to everybody that comes into the clinic. One gentleman that uh, we've talked with in the past who described he couldn't believe the information you were able to give him mm-hmm. about his health. Like he was just overwhelmed because your testing is so thorough. And can you just tell us the time frame? So if people phone today, and by the way, you phone today, you get a free consultation. That's a ninety five dollar value. 403-870-4348. I'll repeat that number. Um, from from picking up the phone until you get in for your consultation, your assessment, what are we talking, a couple weeks? Yeah, it's uh, with it's usually a couple of weeks. I, I don't know how many calls we'll get today. So yeah, it depends. It's, yeah, yeah, two to three weeks yeah, so, generally, right, yeah. depending on how busy you are. And then you can, within a few weeks, you can be on a plan to way better heart health. Mm-hmm. And what a relief, yeah. right, to know that it's that quick. Yeah, and like we have no shortage of education. And our education is very, it's very different than what you can get in our healthcare system just because we go more in depth. Right. to what's going on there, right? So yeah. Awesome. Okay, heartfit.ca, that is the website. The phone number is 403-870-4348. 
Hello and welcome back to Talk to the Experts here on 770 CHQR. I'm Betty Jo Kaiser. Diamond Fernandez is the director of the HeartFit Clinic here in Calgary. There's also a HeartFit Clinic in Edmonton. And the website is heartfit.ca. Fantastic information there around uh, heart health. Mm-hmm. So again, thank you for offering that to the listeners, no Diamond. Problem. As you know, that's the first time I'm doing that. So Yeah, that's <laughs> great. He's yeah. doing it to honor his dad because his dad inspired him to uh, follow a career path into heart health and this man is so passionate about it um you know i'm at that age you know i'm over 50 now my brother passed away uh a year ago and Mm -hmm. we just got the coroner's report back it was took forever and ever and ever they were really backed up in bc and his cause of death natural causes and it was cardiovascular disease and the coroner said to me you know it's very important that your healthcare provider get the information that your brother died specifically of cardiac disease and cardiovascular disease rather Mm -hmm. and uh, tobacco use was listed and which is interesting because he wasn't a huge smoker and high blood pressure and so of course this sent my younger brother and I into this panic and I'm like I have been yakking about I should go to the heart fit clinic I should go to the heart fit clinic well of course this was it right now I have to go but I get these moments where I I feel like a little pain in my chest or, you know, I was talking to another, another mom and she's like, oh, I felt this pain in my jaw. I'm like, oh, am I having a heart attack? And you, you get these symptoms. Mm-hmm. And I know that there are, when you're feeling that acute system, you need to take action. Yeah. You need to dial 911. Absolutely. And let's say, for, let's pick a number. Yeah. 10 people feeling some symptom end up in the merch. Absolutely. Okay. And that's where you should go. That's where you should yeah. go when you're feeling and that. And that's where you should, not to the heart fit clinic, to the, to the emergency room. And, you know, of those 10 people, so let's take those statistics of those people, you know, 10 of you guys go to the emergency room with this chest pain or type of feeling or thinking that it's your heart, right? Only two out of 10 of them actually are having a heart attack or a heart problem that needs to be taken care of. So they undergo the emergency path of, of cardiac. Really? Of, yeah. Only two of the 10 that, that, are, that are convinced they're having heart symptoms is actually is actually that happening yeah. at that moment. Okay, yeah. what happens with the other eight? So the other eight, they've got a negative uh, workup, meaning they've had a negative, all the markers show negative for actually having a heart attack. Okay, so that's a good thing, right? So you walk out and you're like, okay, that's that's good. The problem, and this is, I'm, I might ruffle some feathers with this, but the problem is, is that those eight people are being sent to uh, a cardiologist or a doctor that does stress testing. And in my opinion, that is the wrong thing to do. <laughs> the data is showing it. It has such a poor yield, meaning low accuracy. And it's the wrong thing that we should be doing for the patient uh, to, be, to be doing a stress test. Why, why is it wrong to be doing a stress test at so, that point? <laughs> so the accuracy of the test is number one. And number okay. two, the results and management from that test is also wrong. And, and so let me go into that in a little yes. bit more de- in detail. So... When you get the stress test, we've already talked about it, about the cardiac testing and, and, and are you getting the right type of testing done. While well, doing the stress test is only looking for advanced stages of disease. So we get those eight out of 10 people that come from the hospital and they're like, okay, well, we're ordering the stress test and we do that to, you know, make the doctor's peace of mind, make sure, you know, to, to minimize their risk as well that way. But when we look at that, uh, I think the data shows like one in 500 of them are actually showing a positive test, meaning that they have our advanced stages of disease. That means 499 people did not have a problem and they've been told, okay, your heart's fine. You're right? good. Yeah. There you go. And so one in 500 people, based on the data, is showing, okay, well, now you just have that positive stress test, right? And so then you go on to a nuclear test and then you find yourself in the emergency department doing uh, you know, an angiogram to find out you have a blockage and that's the wrong path, you know? So mm-hmm. I think all those 500 people would benefit from not getting tested and the heart fit clinic can help out with that part of it, but it's important to make sure that there are an optical medical therapy, that the risk factors are addressed and that lifestyle changes are addressed because you're going to get much better success doing that and changing that algorithm than doing stress testing alone. And, and so I, I'm not a fan of it. The literature shows it. We've got enough literature to show it. I'm a big guy on, on showing the science behind it. It does not show, it's, it's the wrong thing to do. That's right. all. And so 
And, and like I said, from the stress test, I don't like what's being said afterwards. Either you're like, and there are also false positive testing, meaning that, sure. th that if you do a test like that, then they're like, oh, I saw something, so let's do another level. That, does, that, that doesn't go well with me, right? Because the, the testing, yes, it's a, a low-risk test, but it's just the wrong test to be getting done because it's only looking for advanced stages of disease. And the majority of heart attacks and strokes occur with blockages that are less than 50%. So a stress test would never pick up that stuff. And so it's a wrong, in my opinion, it's just the wrong thing to do. And, and I'm going to get a little technical here, but at the HeartFit Clinic, we bridge that important gap. That's the big thing that we do. And there are so many things that I would love to change. And, and this is done worldwide, but, and, and there, are, there are people that are changing it based on this literature. And, and that's so good to see, but we're just slow behind the eight ball. Maybe it just, you know, we're like a big cruise ship trying to maneuver and take yeah. a turn, Try do a U-turn. It's not easy. Turn on a dime. Yeah. yeah. It, it, but, you know, some countries are able to do it and, and turn on a dime and, and be able to make that change very quickly. And so anyway, that, I can go off on this subject. I, I got so much data to present, but really to understand is, is that if you have chest pain that's emergency-based, go to the emergency. Because we, if it is a heart attack, we want to address that problem. But then if you get released from the emergency department, you know, the HeartFit Clinic can help you bridge that important gap. And even if you do have heart disease or, or artery disease, that's what the HeartFit Clinic does. We help you reverse that process of it. And that's what we do. And that's what we love to do. You know, so that's, yeah. He does love it. <laughs> HeartFit Clinic. There's one in Calgary. There's one in Edmonton. The website is heartfit.ca. Tons of information on that website, some great videos and just super, you'll see how thorough they are uh, with the research and the information they have there. So that's heartfit.ca. You can call to book a consultation. They're open right now. 403-870-4348. That's 403-870-4348. Bears repeating today in honor of Father's because it's month, Mother's Day yeah, month, yeah. <laughs> you are offering that consultation for free. Yeah, it's also stroke month. Yeah, June is also stroke month. That's right, it yeah. is, of course. Yeah. And that's a $95 value. Mm -hmm. So pick up the call today. It doesn't hurt, right? Just to pick up the call and say, okay, you know, I've heard bits of this on the radio. I've heard that show before. It's time to dig down. I know I'm doing it. 403-870-4348. That's 403 870 4348. Once again, Diamond Fernandez has joined us. He is the director of the HeartFit Clinic. He's also the author of the book, Feeding Heart Disease. And that book is available on Amazon for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Correct? Absolutely. And um, once again, the website, heartfit.ca. It has been a pleasure as always, thank Diamond. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very I hope much. hope everyone enjoys the Saturday here. It's supposed to be a good day. So I, yeah. I hope so. Yes. Yeah. Well, and I mean, it doesn't really matter what the weather is. We know it's June and we know July is just around the corner. <laughs> Everything will be great. I'm going to repeat the number one more time. 403-870-4348. That's the HeartFit Clinic. This has been another edition of Talk to the Experts on 770 CHQR. Thank you to Diamond Fernandez of the HeartFit Clinic. I'm Betty Jo Kaiser. Have a happy Saturday.